Hi, I know you guys like, where have you been, girl? On a hiatus. Anyway, so I'm uploading this video because everybody keeps asking me, how do I do my glue in a dark wig? So this is how I do mine. Um, I'm going to speed it up because it took me a long time. Also, some tips to mention before um, you guys see me getting started. These are the colors that I'm using. I'm going to freeze frame those so that you can see them. Also, um, when you guys are rinsing out the dyes and the um, semi-rinses, you want to make sure to rinse out in cold water, as cold as possible. I also left these colors on overnight. That way they can really get inside the hair. You may notice later on in the video that the hair looks kind of crunchy. That's because I left the um, hair color overnight, came back and rinsed it. It also helps with it not bleeding. Since I left the lighter colors at the bottom, the glow and the dark colors, um, you'll, see the, you'll see the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and stop blabbing so you can see my technique. I just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too. Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day. You told her that you would stay. You made me feel the same way. What goes around comes around, that's what I always say. Cause Got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say Cause it's been a long day I just wanna lay down and sleep on my bed But you stuck in my head, I don't know why Wish that you were next to me Cause it's been a long day also, if you guys are wondering what type of unit this is, this is a 10 inch bod frontal. I sell bundles and I also sell wigs. I customize them as well. So I'm going to have to tag in my Instagram at the bottom or at the end of this video so that you guys can see my work and what I do. Again, this is just one of many of the glow in the dark wigs that I've made. And I get asked these all the time. How do you make these wigs? What products do you use? What dyes do you use? Um, semi colors, what have you. So this is it, guys. I'm showing y'all some love and show y'all how I do. I despise all these guys that try to step to me Just knowing her eyes on the recipe to her bakery I need her and she need me Nothing could change at the fago to her blueberry Nothing could top that if you want You can see what true love looks like It's easy as one, two, three some people like to use foil when they're separating the colors. I like to use saran wrap for two reasons. One, because it's very flexible, it's easy to stretch. Um, you can see through it as well. And um, for some reason, it just works really well with me. It doesn't stick as much when you start putting it. You know, saran wrap tends to fold it on itself like a sticker. But for some reason, when I'm using it on hair, it, it does a great job. It's really sturdy and it gets the job done. Fun tip, you guys should try that. Can I convince you to come drop the eddy? I pull out like tissue. I don't want no preview. You yeah, give me the sequel. I murdered a kitty. No desert like eagle. If you guys want to know where I get my Manic Panic from, go to the website. Um, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just love Manic Panic because it works really, really well. It's very vibrant. Um, sometimes you might catch them with a sale, but Manic Panic tends to be a lot. Um, it tends to be very expensive. It might cost you a pretty penny, girl, so be wary of that um but like i said i've had these laying around for a long time um i tend to dye wigs a lot so this is a lot of you know hair colors that i have laying around i'm like look let's do another wig for a tutorial show the girls how i go ahead and do my going to dark wig so again guys you can go to manicpanic.com that's where i get um the going to dark colors and stuff like that all the other ones you see i get at my local beauty supply store like the ruby reds and all of that those I get from the local beauty supply store. You might also catch me using the toothbrush. I like the way the toothbrush grabs some of that. Um, it grabs the semi hair dye so much that where you don't have to keep dipping and dipping. If you stroke hard enough, you can catch some of that hair dye that's still in the toothbrush. So I really like the toothbrush. Plus, it lets you get those really, really, really tiny, um, tiny places. So remember that, guys. Um, whatever works for you. You know, you don't have to stick by the book. This is your technique. Again, this is how I make my wigs. You guys can do what works for you.
know y'all notice I came out them gloves too. Gloves have a tendency of transferring colors sometimes that I don't want. For instance, when I'm using dark colors and I'm using a um, blue or something like that and I turn around and use an orange, it might transfer. So sometimes I just take those gloves off and I get my hands dirty because at the end of the day, I can take that remover um, that set my stuff. I can remove it off my skin. But once it gets on that hair, it's stuck, guys. So, I mean, sometimes you got to get down and dirty to get the job done. So that's me. I, I mean, my nails are already messed up anyway. I'm going to do those soon, too. I might give you guys a tutorial on how I do that. I'm very creative guys I did my office too um, so you'll see a lot more of me this is just me like I said being creative again with the wigs and stuff but I'll show you guys how I do my nails too um, I just learned how to do my nails not too long ago so it make it takes me a long time but they still come out cute they come out cute so i'm not too worried about my nails getting messed up it's been weeks and weeks and weeks so it's about time to cut them off anyway and do something else so again hey when it's time to come out them gloves to do the job your girl gonna do it needles because they're easier to grab with my fingernails or the ones I got left on my fingers <laughs> but like I said whatever works for you that's what you use like I said it's easier to pull them out you know those t-pins for the wigs can be kind of hard and you don't want to leave them halfway out because it tends to snag on the lace these are also good for the front of the lace as well it doesn't snag as much it doesn't get caught as much um you would have thought by now they at least put some type of rubber at the end of the tea wigs maybe that's my new pattern don't steal my idea y'all but yeah anyway i'm using the tea pins not tea pins the push pins and i'm using saran wrap and you know you can pull that saran wrap as tight as you want to pull it and you can just stick those things in there they come right on out so again whatever works for you guys make sure you use whatever works for you it's your technique It comes with the bleach powder and the semi resin and all of that stuff. So this is one of the blues from the kits that I um, had left over. And this color loves to bleed. So I'm trying to be as careful as possible. And just remember guys, that saran wrap comes in handy with um, techniques like this.
noticed when I put the blue first was that that orange, it bled right into the orange. So what I'm gonna do next time on the other side, I'm gonna apply that orange first and then the blue, and you'll see the difference between it. I'm assuming that that orange is gonna catch that blue before it fades. I think that's what I'm gonna start doing from now on. I'm gonna apply the light at the bottom and then the um, brown at the top or the dark at the top, or I might just apply the dark first, rest it, let that dry, and then come back with the light. But we'll see, we'll see how it comes out.
Don't ever change for anybody Don't ever trade your soul Don't even listen to him He don't know nothing at all Try not to get too involved But really it's breaking my heart How you keep changing for him Never forget who you are You butterfly You butterfly Butterfly Wings spread just let it fly Butterfly Butterfly Life without brightness, be alive. You were never quiet, never so shy. Now you're so serious all of the time. Show me that smile, it's not too late to reinvent yourself. Bust out your cocoon, spray on your perfume, and go enjoy your new point of view. There's no way you can lose The world works for you Now that you're a f You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions And it's too much sometimes Mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion overnight so that those colors can sit in there good it looks crunchy right now because it is but it won't stay that way that's just that color sitting in there like that um you'll see how vibrant it is once i rinse it out this is a really good idea though to keep that color in there overnight so that it, it really is trust me you'll see the difference it looks so good So 
these are the conditioners and the shampoos that I'm using. These are toners and it also is a color thing. It blocks the color so you don't have to worry about it fading out too. It keeps that color in there. So you wanna use a color care type of shampoo or conditioner to help with that fading, for sure. You always wanna make sure that when you're using colors like this, you wanna use a conditioner and shampoo that's strictly for color. That way your colors stay vibrant, they don't fade out. Also, when you're using high temperatures, it tends to fade as well. So when you're using flat irons and curlers and stuff like that, make sure that you use the temperature as low as possible so that you don't fry that color out of there. So right now, I'm just rinsing in sections. When I get to the blue and the orange, I'm gonna rinse upside down so that that blue does not run into that orange when I'm rinsing it out. helps the color not fade as well or not bleed as well when it's rinsing out. You don't want those colors to bleed into each other after you've done all that hard work. Hi, Marco. That's my friend here. He loves to photo bomb. But yeah, so make sure you have ice water if you can. If not, rinse it as cold as possible. This helps with bleeding. Thank you later. as much of that color out and let that water run really really clear before you apply any shampoo or conditioner also you want to make sure that most of that color and all of that stuff is out of there before you dip it in that ice cold water that ice cold water just to freeze that color in per se again if you use warm water it's going to pull that color out so remember that also again this is the color correcting it's like a toner and a conditioner one is made for color hair this is a really good when you're using rinses and dyes. And again, when you're using rinses, make sure that water runs clear. Remember, if you don't, if it doesn't run clear, you gotta remember if you're wearing a white shirt, it's gonna bleed on your shirt too. your conditioner with cold water or let your hair sit in conditioner with cold water this really works guys so i'm gonna let this sit in this um condition in this ice water for about five to ten minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and rinse it back out again it's just gonna freeze that color in there you're gonna see how vibrant it is afterwards okay always remember that when you're using conditioner try to rinse out with the cold water you can take so that it locks in that moisture Now, if you made it this far in the video, I want to appreciate you and thank you so much. And I really hope that you learned some tips and tricks or two on how to make this go in a dark wig, girl, because you are going to love it. It's the summertime. You got Pride Month, girl. This is a perfect time to rock this wig. So you're going to make sure that you rinse all that color out. Make sure that water runs clear. Make sure you condition it really good. You can blow dry it and style it as you like, girl. And you are good to go. I hope you like the finished product. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.
my god you should be so proud this is so pretty you see what you can do girl we put your mind to it look at this wig look at both of them now this amazon is where i got the um uv light from they have a couple i think spencer's has them as well you don't want to wait for amazon but you know amazon got like two day shipping or same day shipping girl get you a uv lamp because it will not work without a uv lamp girl okay you gotta flex some colors period okay also during the daytime it's really vibrant really cute i hope you girls really try this this is so so cute it's the summertime perfect time to try this hairstyle okay perfect time to try these colors you are bound to get compliments girl because i told you i got plenty of them okay this is a human hair wig so you can sell it like you want to i'm going to tag my instagram at the bottom as well as everything else i hope you girls like this thank you for watching my video like comment and subscribe Love you girls. Talk to you soon. Bye.